All right, everybody, we are back. Folks, over the last 40 years, my next guest has written, directed, and financed dozens of movies, including the classic Deadly Weapons, starring Chesty Morgan and her 73-inch breasts. Here to tell us more about her... Yeah, I'm still here. Uh, here to tell us more about her brand new film, please welcome Doris Wishman. Thank you for being here, Doris. You're more than welcome. Um, Doris, are people, when they, when, they, when, they, when they know your films, are people surprised when they finally meet you? That why, why be surprised? Yeah. Well, tell me why they should be surprised. Well, there's some people who might say, if, you know, that, uh, that they would think that a senior citizen might make a different kind of movie. I know that's wrong, but they might think that. I repeat, why? Exactly. My point. <laughs> why? Why? Thank you. Now, we just made a good point together. Uh, you have an unusual... That's called togetherness. Yeah. And I like it. Uh, you're not scaring me, Clint. It's not supposed to scare you. But if you're it's supposed to make you love me. Let me tell you something. If yes. you want to scare me, just uh -huh. look at me naturally. <laughs> Mean, huh? He could be a movie I'm star. I'm a mean lady. You are a mean lady. Oh, yes. But I'm going to keep talking to you because I enjoy it. And we have to kill more time. Now... I beg your pardon. Now, let me ask you about your system. You start with a title. Yes, I do. A lot of people don't start with a title. They start with an idea. You start with a title and then you work from there. Is that true? Because I'm different. That's good. That's the point I was making. You're different. You have a new movie coming out. Why don't you tell people the, the title of your, of your new movie? It's coming out this weekend. Well, the movie that... Let me tell you first about the movie that I finished about six months ago called Satan Was a Lady. Mm -hmm. it's, it's excellent, because Satan really is... You know, she really was a lady. I'm sure of that, yes. Yeah. I, I knew you would be. <laughs> Starring Honey Lauren, who's a fantastic actress. And I completed my next film, the film that you're referring to, I believe, about three months ago. And that film is called... Go ahead and tell her. Do I have to tell you? Yeah, it's just that we want to promote the movie, so don't you want to say the name of your new movie? Well, it's called Dildo Heaven. <laughs> Why are you blushing, Colin? I'm not blushing at all. I'm a newsman here getting the facts. <laughs> it's my job to find out what's going on. Now, this is it, for this movie... You went back and you used some footage that you had shot before. Is that true? That's true. Okay. And you blended it with footage that was, is new. That's true. All right. Let's, let's take a look now at a clip from this film and see if we can... Well, I just want to, you know, just to take a look at a clip from this film, which is entitled, What You Just Said. Let's take a look. <laughs> Are you afraid... Now, my question is... Wait, may I say something first? I just had a quick question. Is, have All you right. seen that technique before of blending video with film? That was, that was, that was pretty cool. Uh, I think, well, it lent, it lent itself. It was a perfect... Uh, that scene was from the Amaral 3. The, 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 the film version? That he was watching. Was yeah. that from, like, that was from, like, the 70s or something? 80s. 80s, okay. And then you took the video camera and you... You thought, if I could have a guy looking through a bush, and then I can see... Because I needed more footage, and I didn't have money. You didn't have the money. It's kind of a time travel picture in which he travels back That's into an right. earlier picture. That's Very right. good. That's right. That is true. But I have something to say to you. When you mentioned best, best picture, why didn't you mention Dildo Heaven? Uh, <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. But that's why you I always like to see them first, you know, and then review them. Oh, but that's, that's so ordinary. You know, i got to tell you, though. <laughs> what a I commonplace was... <laughs> system you have. I have seen... Sucker! Conan... I'm glad I you're getting seen... it now, and I'm over uh, here. <laughs> listen, I'm going to grill her a little bit. I have seen both of the Chesty Morgan pictures. Yes. 
And there's only really, I got to tell you, one reason that anybody wants to see a Chesty Morgan picture. And that is to see Chesty Morgan nude. And we get all these shots of Chesty Morgan with clothes on. And I just wanted to kind of quiz you about that a little bit. Well, I'm sorry you're frustrated. <laughs> Oh, good well, Lord. Is, and, there, is there anything I can do? No. <laughs> Why am I actually, Would actually, you like me to leave? Actually, Doris, Hello. the 510 glossy of Jesse Morgan that you gave me backstage was really a nice... Wasn't it nice? Yes, ma'am. All right, I'm going to wrap this thing up now. <laughs> before the FCC does it for me. Dildo Heaven is playing tomorrow night. What the hell's happened to my career? <laughs> I went to college. Dildo Heaven's playing tomorrow night at the New York Underground Film Festival. So check that out. Doris, thank you very much for being here. Wait! Doris, what's your name? We gotta go. I'm gonna... We'll come back. We'll be right back. And then we'll, you'll tell me what you have to say. I do want to thank all our guests. I have to mention, six months from now, watch for Doris's new film, Each Time I Kill. And I want you to be in it, Conan. I'll be there. <laughs> Stay tuned for the last call with Carson Daly, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>